on Batman. It's Monster Camera. Hello, hi guys. It's Monster Camera here, and um, today I'm sitting down for this uh, vlog. Um, and don't mind the background. That's some uh, Futurama. TV's up high, but uh, whatever. So I know a lot of you guys are, you know, gaming fans mainly, but um, um, I don't know. You should, I think you should be. Um, you know, uh, interested to find out what's going to happen today and um, for the rest of the week at uh, SIGGRAPH. Hope I'm uh, spelling that right. Uh, SIGGRAPH uh, 2012. That's a meeting of the minds for computer um, graphics, pretty much. Um, one of the first um, news um, reports I've heard out of SIGGRAPH is a uh, uh, some new open jail specifications, um, like the new ASTC or something like that, a new uh, uh, royalty-free texture compression for, for next-gen uh, uh, video uh, drivers and stuff. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting, because a lot of the open source drivers have had issues in the past with S3 uh, texture compression. Uh, holding them back because it's uh, patented and uh, maybe aggressively uh, hunted down. But I'm not too sure. But yeah, they're gonna be producing um, you know tech demos and white papers and all that good stuff, um, talking about the next generation of um, computer gaming and, and and computer graphics as a whole. So I think that's going to be uh, very interesting to see what comes out of it because a lot of the times you see, um, you know, ray tracing, you see some pass tracing stuff, you see DirectX um, uh, 11, um, you see DirectX demos that are pretty good. You see some OpenGL demos that are amazing. You see new algorithms and um, and just new ways of doing things, um, and it's it's very it's very interesting as a matter of fact. Um, you can, uh, especially things uh, surrounding volumetric uh, rendering, point clouds, uh, that's interesting. Physics, OpenCL physics, um, shader programs, or uh, like, um, uh, uh, and, stuff, and stuff like that. Um, direct compute, that's, that seems interesting. You can do programs directly on the compute oriented programs directly on your, your GPU. Um, I don't understand many of the specifics, as a matter of fact, I'm mainly lost, but um, uh, stuff on screen looks pretty enough, so it's uh, interesting. Um, but yeah, um, as for uh, like uh, Minecraft, um, unfortunately uh, 1.3 has broken my Windows build. Uh, it keeps crashing, and no matter how much I try to fix it, it just it crashes. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait on a patch. So I might not be able to um, to do Minecraft for a while until it's patched, because I can't go back to 1.2.5, because we already blew up the world uh, in preparation. Uh, in hindsight, uh, was a dumb move. Um, if anything, I'll try to do it on Linux because I think the Linux build should be fine. Uh, it's just that um, I can't figure out how, how to uh, to record Skype audio because that's how me and Kevin uh, contact each other. So I can't really figure out how to do Skype audio. So I might have to use a separate recorder program and mix them together in OpenShot. And um, I might have to, uh, yeah, I might have to try that. Um, not much else. Uh, um, oh yeah, I have another rant on my Samsung Galaxy Tab. Um, so you saw the other, uh, the other one about uh, asphalt, uh, really pissing me off. And now the ice cream sandwich build, uh, the ICS build. Uh, it is available in the UK. I've heard uh, reports in Australia. You know, some Asian countries that carry it. They do have the update, but. Us in the U.S. have to wait another probably month or so before we can get the ICS update. And the problem, you know, why a lot of people always ask for ICS is that Samsung software is always buggy. So um, the web browser crashes daily. Um, uh, it, there are many speed hiccups. Yeah, you could try another launcher that kind of alleviates some of the 
um, the issues associated with the launcher and the, the whole you know smoothness of the device but uh, that's an issue and also a big issue is um, the, the marketplace uh, device compatibility uh, 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 mac, uh, mar matching um, you know if you didn't know Android uh, um, the Play Store actually matches your device uh, compatibility on to what the developers say is directly compatible so if, direct, if the uh, developer didn't necessarily optimize for a certain device it, you're off the list so you can't download it um, a case in point would be um, I don't know if you've seen it but Blood and Glory uh, a few weeks ago I could download the the build and it run very well on it ran very well on my Galaxy tab but uh, recently I've been trying to re-download it because I flashed it to, to a little uh, custom ROM but that didn't work out too well so I flashed it and erased everything now I want to install it again and um, I can't download it I can't find it anywhere it's incompatible now also um, a Firefox strangely is incompatible with my device as well although I don't think they have the tablet optimized version but um, yeah many of the, the applications on the marketplace uh, work you know many of them work but they're not comp uh, they don't uh, they don't uh, com come up as compatible so you can't download them so uh, in the end I had to switch over to the Amazon uh, app store to try to get blood and glory to work that way and if anything I'm just gonna have to um, BitTorrent slash uh, Pirate Bay them because um, you know that just doesn't make any sense. Um, and also um, about this, oh don't electrocute me. About this a couple uh, months ago, about three months ago, and it's dead already, man. No, not three months, about six months, and it's already dead. And this is. Uh, just unacceptable, man. Uh, I had a, a, a 945 in there. Uh, the 125 watt version, uh, 4 gigs of DDR3 1033, uh, and a 7550 GPU. And it was a decent, you know, really nice uh, 720p gaming, uh, full HD uh, media center PC. I was trying to find a case, but I couldn't find any. But it just pisses me off how quickly these things go. So I'm gonna have to RMA this thing. Yep, so that's it. Um, vlog number 18 or 19, whatever.